Hey. Hey, you. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. The one watching the boob tube. When I grow up, I'm gonna be just like you. Bug boy. How strange. I had another dream about that bug again. I wonder if God is trying to tell me something. Judas hangs himself. Lord, what are you trying to say? Maybe I'll check out that bug website again. Wait a second. I didn't see that before. Tiger beetle. Would God really create a bug boy? Strange. According to this bug website, the tiger beetle have similar characteristics. Most beetles are slow moving and methodical, but not the tiger beetle. Run swiftly over ground, snatching up any insect that wanders close to their hiding place. And the kinkata makes a buzzing song. Bulging eyes, yellow, green, and blue. What would Jesus do? Jesus would approach life with childlike wonder. When we lose the ability to relax and laugh, to be surprised and delighted by life, it's a pretty sure bet that stress is doing some serious damage. <sighs> yeah, I'd say I'm a little stressed out. Watch a child at play. Completely absorbed, oblivious to time, in touch with the present moment, and the wonder of creation. tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. That all makes sense. If God did create a creature like Bug Boy, he'd be simple like children and maybe he could teach the masses how to get closer to God with that childlike wonder. <laughs> and of course, his natural habitat would have to be Hawaii. Perfect place for a bug.
could my buggy be? I gotta find him so he can save humanity. The Lord impressed it upon my heart to look into a cave. <gasps> he got away. I gotta follow him. Give me the key. Ah. I'm gonna take, take you. it anymore. No. Ah. <laughs> it's buggy time. Bug boy. Bug boy. Bug boy. Bug. Bug boy. Jesus would trust in the power of prayer. Stress comes from second-guessing ourselves and from second-guessing God. Jesus taught that prayer is only effective as the trust of the person praying. I trust in you, Lord. Forgive me for second-guessing you. If we do our part, Trusting that God indeed answers prayers, God will do the rest. God is standing by to help, in fact, to move mountains if necessary. That's what I need, some fresh air. I'm going crazy catching bugs in Hawaii and I don't know what all this means. Yeah, I need to get out. God wants to use you to change the world. Do you understand English? Yes. <laughs> I've been having such vivid dreams about God using you to teach the world to live this childlike nature. You, you got me mixed up with somebody else. No, no. I couldn't mix you up with anybody else. Could I be Could wrong? I be? Did I really hear from God? No. No, I'm sorry. Let's, let's just start again. My name's Jackie, and you are? 
Bug boy. So, bug boy, do you know God? <laughs> All I know is plants and bugs taste good. That's all you know? Wow, I have so much to teach you. Where, where could my buddy be? I've got to find him so he can save humanity. You jerky move it! Stop! Have you ever been in this situation, traveling nowhere fast? and mad at the world for cutting you off? If so, if so, say a prayer. Lord, let me run him off the road. No, not like that. Sorry, please, Lord, bless that maniac. Now, don't you feel better? Yeah, thanks. Don't swear, say a prayer. Hear that? I don't hear anything. <gasps> Gross. I can't believe you just did that. <laughs> Wish you were dead. Revelations. That's all I know. That's all you know. I thought I thought you said bugs and plants were all you knew. Yeah. That's all I know. I have a feeling you know a lot more than you're telling me. What do you know about Revelation? John wrote it. John Jesus' disciple, not John the Baptist. Yeah. He got visions, too. Two? You get visions? I hear things. People, people walk through here. Well, you sure are full of surprises, I'll give you that. Come on, I'll show you something. Wait, wait, wait where are you going? Wait! Come on! Look down there. It's beautiful, but you never answered my question. I, I was sitting in here. I looked over the edge and I saw, I saw a man in black dr drowning a little girl. He, he, he was ranting and raving about, about uh, 
John the Baptist, how he was in the desert eating locusts, and how he needed to do that in order to, to save her. I got very, very upset. So I, I wanted to go down there and I wanted to save, I wanted to save her. He, he went... He said John the Baptist was in Revelations and, and one day, one day there'll, there'll be locusts that, that will sting like scorpions. And, and you'll wish, you wish you were dead. So, so that's why no, he... he... It got weird. It got really weird. After all of that, they, 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 both of them raised their arms and they, they were singing. So that's why you... Yeah. Yeah. That's when it hit me. I'm like John. John, John the Baptist. Because he bugs too. So I... I, I want it. I want it to be safe too. So I, I ran down there. And I, I jumped. I jumped in the water. And I raised my. I raised my arms. And I, I said. How long ago did this happen? Three hours. Three hours ago? Yeah. I, I heard you crying. So I, I ran down to save you because I thought you were hurt. <laughs> I, I heard you screaming. God. Um, uh, yeah, this is, this is, I'll just... It's too weird. I don't know. God certainly works in mysterious ways. Um. Can you can you leave here? Do you want to go? Wait, come come back. I mean, can I can I take you home with me? This is my home. I know, I know, I just, I think that we can really help each other out. Yeah. I'll bring you back whenever you want. I just, I want some more time to talk with you. I don't know, it sounds risky. I can buy you some plants and bugs. Come on, look around you. I don't need you to buy me anything. Well... I can teach you about John the Baptist, why he baptized people and ate bugs. All right, let's go. Sometimes I, I get flashes of different places. Do you 
ever get lonely? Look, look, look around you. I mean, everyone is different. Yet, yet still, I'm, I'm not accepted. I mean, that's, that's why I, I live in nature. It's... Yeah, the world's a tough place to live in. But if you accept Jesus as your personal savior, our reward's heaven. Well, my reward is a big, fat, spotted asparagus beetle. Oh. You know, John baptized with water. Jesus baptizes with fire. Hey, that, 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 that's cool. I mean, tell the Lord that, that I like my well done. You're not taking me seriously. You know... Heaven's a place where you can go to spend eternal happiness. Hey, let's go, because of John's name. I'm, I'm sure they have, uh, I'm sure they have birds. I'm ready to die. I, I kill, I kill bugs all the time. A part bug. Yes, but you're also part human. And as humans, we don't go around killing other humans. Maybe that's why humans are searching for eternal happiness. Why? How many unhappy bugs do you know? Only the ones being eaten. You know, God put it in our heart, in every human heart, a hunger for spiritual. Only Jesus can fill that place in your heart. He died for us so that we could accept him and go up to heaven. So God wants me to choose Jesus? Yeah, of course. Jesus is God. Let me get this straight. If, if I, um, if I choose Jesus, I'll never have to eat again? No. It's a daily decision. You have to choose Jesus, but he feeds you spiritually. So, so, Jesus is his daily decision? Yeah, I'm just part bug, all right? So, if I don't get this all at once, don't, don't crucify me. You know, all this talk about food's making me hungry. You want to stop for a burger? You kill a, a cow for a burger. I kill a bug for a burger. Let's eat. And you said you had no time to read the Bible.
basically you, with your childlike nature, teach the world to love God simply. Simply put. I would do nothing of the sort. No. Why? So every every middle-aged bug hater, bug hater can fly spot my brain. I don't think so. No. You know. I really feel this is God's plan for your life. Can, can you at least pray on it for me? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pray on it. And you know what? If it happens, dying is my friend. I'm bug. I'm bug out. I mean, I'm praying for it right now. What? I praise God. Thank God, I've delivered my message. May God's will be done. Well, I told you I'd bring you back whenever you wanted. Just time flew by so quickly. Time flies in buggy land. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So are you gonna, um, come back and visit me? Well, when you hear from God, I'd be curious to hear what he has to say. Uh, I've got something for you. What? Good. I thought you could use it. It would help you out, you know, in seeking God. It's got my info inside, so give me a call anytime. <laughs> Please. Pray, pray with me. Uh, I, 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 I don't. I want you to guide me in some prayer. I don't know what to say. Oh, okay. Dear Lord Jesus, we come before you this day asking you to show us your will for our lives. Direct us towards wisdom and fill us with your love and grace. We praise you and thank you for this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Right on! What are you doing? Um, <laughs> never mind. I'm sorry. It was nice meeting you. Thank you for your time, vision lady. Uh, you're, you're welcome. Should I have given him my address and phone number? I wonder what would happened to that bug boy character. <laughs> he certainly wasn't what I expected. I got a vision.
Jesus feeds away the mind of sin. Plant a seed, let your feeling life begin. Christ grows like bright within. Jesus feeds your heart to sin. All living creatures covered with eyes. Each with six wings, praising Christ.